Hey everybody. Over the last several weeks we have been working on a project to expand the pigs area. So I'm going to overlay a ton of video on this so check it out. This area started as just a bit of an overgrown hill. You might remember years ago I showed you a video where I bush hogged this hill. Well now we've come back and cut down a couple of the oak trees and a couple trash trees that were growing so that some select oak trees could keep growing and provide acorns to drop in this area as food for the pigs in the fall. We also left this really large cedar. Not only do we love cedar, but to provide that evergreen shade that's never going to go away even in the winter. So this is really just phase one, even though it's taken us a few weekends to get this done amidst all the other projects and the weather that we've been having. The next phase is going to be to include an area just for a male pig so that we can keep it separate from the females and be able to have better control over our animal husbandry and decide when they mate, when they farrow. Mostly to make sure that when they do farrow, we're having piglets that are the same size at the same time. We did run into some complications earlier this year where we had a second farrowing like three months after the first one. And so the older pigs uh, were kind of nudging away the little pigs and we lost a lot of them. So we need to try to time those as close as possible. So this is now... 300 times the size of what they had before. This used to just have one 16 foot section of fence deep and it is now four 16 sections feet of fence long. So we went from 16 feet, we added on another 48 feet and kept it 32 feet wide. So, so we've added on basically three more sections to what they had before. And we're hoping that this is really primarily going to give them a place so we can help make sure that all of the waste runs off a little bit better. You can see uh, from some of this footage that the area they were in before uh, was quite overworked. Uh, now they're going to have more of an area to spread out. We can try to get some areas just for the water and not get such a cesspool of mud, but some good clean mud pits, which really is a thing, believe it or not. So there you are. I hope you've enjoyed the drone footage that was a part of this new video. Thanks so much to all of our patrons who make all the projects like this even possible. And thanks to all of you who continue to watch the videos. Uh, if you've been watching us for a long time, then you know we've struggled with keeping pigs in the past. But since we've upgraded to this actual hog panel fencing, haven't really had any problems at all. Certainly not with this. Uh, so we're very excited about being able to keep the pigs and give them a bigger area. We'll see you all next time. Bye.